at a relatively fast rate of speed given that there's just absolutely nothing on that front passenger wheel we do not know we got uh, a chance to get your clothes off um, but we first, get naked uh, and dance it was eastbound 60 we got uh, in a chase area uh they a pitted it or tried to pit it at one point so um, take off your clothes and buren um and they were in riverside we believe we they're on the 60 at, at this point oh, right now yeah and, and you can see they've gone to that center lane and chp is right behind the vehicle um it is not likely that they will try to pit this at this speed right now with the amount of traffic that's going on. Uh, you see that they're passing that big rig there. So that you gives you pick an up idea truck. Is it pick that, up uh, or hyphenated pick up? Slow chase right pick up. now. So pick y up there is a truck. bit of congestion uh, on this, but uh, the, the at least two occupants in this truck have they not shown any signs that they will pull over. Now, when we clothes. were watching it, um, there was not any, anything in the manner of reckless driving per se. Uh, but again, at that point, there wasn't any rubber on the front uh, tire. So oh shit, that's just our rims. Having to pretty much stay that's in a rims. very uh, straight line. So now you have two CHP officers <clears throat> in the one and two lane there. So they will be able to, if they want, uh, close in on this vehicle hey, fairly quickly. Hey, You'll notice go. that nobody hey. is coming up from behind. Hey, uh, so there's hey, likely not going hey. to be anybody traffic, hey, any traffic coming hey. up from behind this vehicle unless they somehow merge on. But one of the things to remember that that axle is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Oh, man. So this when this vehicle stops, this is intense, there bro. is the likelihood that that front engine compartment could catch fire. Oh, pick up um, together. So we're okay. going to watch and see what happens Who as there? this uh, concludes it. You know, and if you're on the eastbound 60, you will, when this ends, you will likely and see naked a heavy police and presence. take so off they your might clothes. Clear it very quickly. Strip down. Uh, it might take them a minute as well. But this person oh, is actually fuego. passing some traffic. Um, maybe if we can pull out just a little bit wider and He's kind of give fire. you an idea as what's going on in front of this vehicle and behind. We've seen uh, <laughs> the damage to the front. So it's wide open Oy, uh, madre. in front so we're of gonna, this vehicle. There's I, I need nothing a in now. the way of traffic, so to speak. And if you notice that pickup right there pulls over mm. out of the way and uh, is letting uh, officers go by. So mm. at least the people in front well, just are not being surprised by this vehicle at high rates of speed coming up behind them. So at this point, we're kind of waiting to see exactly what CHP will do. Uh, they have passed uh, Moreno Beach at this point. Again, Give on me the a 60 eastbound, and you can really see the sparks flying underneath that vehicle. It is pretty much driving on Ooh. the axle on the front because again I know where the to go. wheel has collapsed and it is just there's no control for the driver of this vehicle so you would think the chp might oh that thing is disintegrating this, uh front engine weight down that axle and it will cause it to break and once it breaks they'll just have to stop but that's what i'm talking about with the drive the passenger side just kind of holding his hand out the window um Nothing, we don't know if if that's just being casual and just waiting for this to end and just chilling. taking a cavalier attitude to what's I happening. Surrender. But you can see that, see the front wheel, they're, they're, it's gang they're signs. Kind of, it's, it's very close to that axle just breaking and mm. falling apart. So now they've passed Redlands mm. is what we're getting word from the desk. They ballsy too for driving next to a whole semi truck. Because every time I drive next to those things, I think of all the ways I could somehow die. This guy's ballsy with that thing running on rims. So we don't know necessarily what started this chase. We just know simply that it started in the Rancho Cucamonga area. It was in Baldwin Cucamonga. Park at one point. Um, Santa Ana. They did set up a spike strip. Now I'm seeing that they did set up a spike strip. Ooh. So that is likely uh, what caused the damage uh, to the wheel on the front, the tire mm. on the front. Um, did not get both tires on the front i don't believe uh I, th I do believe on the left the driver's side that can y'all hit the like the button please still there, i'd appreciate but certainly that they did take care of it on the passenger side so please at, at some like point button. we've heard there are two people hit at least like. in this uh there could be i guess somebody sitting in that passenger side okay they've moved over lanes here so we're kind of seeing exactly Ooh. what's going to happen because once a vehicle starts to s try to steer without tire on that front mm. wheel, you can lose control and spin out quite quickly. So it does seem as if they've slowed down a bit. 
certainly not catching up with traffic in front of him. You can see the traffic in front. We'll see if this suspect will Ooh. at some point just finally surrender. Happy Friday, everybody. Over. Happy Friday. Welcome it to the stream. It seems as if he's going about 65 miles an hour and uh, lost more of hmm. the vehicle. You see some of the uh, axle kind of falling apart. Now you start to see Ooh. sparks all the way under the back hmm. end of this vehicle. So there, that is just heating up. Uh, so the vehicle is just really heating up and it is bouncing around. So you can tell it is um, oh, very shit. difficult to control. Now somehow I've turned on the... The hazards. Yeah, he's ballsy. Don't hazards. Um, as to why, <laughs> not quite sure. Um, but still going fast enough to maintain pace with the. He, he's thoughtful about the people around him, and so he put the hazards um, on. Not oh! certain. There's just some work crews there on the side. So, if this thing stops and he catches fire, it's going to make it uh, difficult for an orderly. Dang, I'm uh, making much custody further. situation for CHP. Normally, they'll want to have these guys slowly get out of the vehicle and, and as you've seen in the past, walk back towards them. But look at the you smoke now. The so this thing has really started to heat up, and at some point inside that cabin... How are they even breathing in that shit? Doesn't the smoke start to fill up inside? I guess that's why they got the windows down. They've dropped down to about 30 miles an hour. Um, and again, you know, you've got the fuel tank in the back. Uh, you, you don't want like this a, thing to catch fire right. and then cause an explosion there, which would be, uh, a, a be delay amazing. for resuming normal traffic on amazing. the 60. So now they've slowed down to the point where it's almost at a crawl. And you can see more and more of that front end just oh, starting the, to disintegrate. So the axle is is there's, there's got to be just Ooh, look zero at the back control tire. at this point look at the vehicle's overheating um i see hands, out hands the up on the give up. driver's side as well maybe he's trying to communicate saying that he's trying to pull over oh look, look at, at that shit wow that whole axle and damn wheel like legos this is just apart. coming so apart pulled over to the shoulder now uh and we'll see if they just immediately get out of the vehicle we do not know if they are armed, uh, we do know that this would be considered a dangerous pursuit to the point that they uh, used a spike strip to stop the person. So we have oh. two hands out the window. So it does appear as I give if up. the suspects Please. in this chase are surrendering Forgive themselves me. to authority. That's just still going. So you see the back wheel continues to turn. I don't know if that's because he's got his foot on the gas. So we'll see how CHP handles this. They will, clearly, they will stop traffic on the 60 eastbound. So be aware that if you're going to be traveling that area, there is going to be a police police activity here. It might even nights. start to slow down the westbound side at Gilman Springs if uh, you have people starting to look. So we'll see how quickly they can get the vehicle uh, emptied, get the people out of this vehicle. So this is apparently Jackrabbit Trail where they have stopped. Mm near Moreno Valley and so now the you can see the smoke Ooh. in the cab I'm not sure what he just threw out yeah, there Yeah be careful what you're grabbing for keep your hands out. up uh, sure. Matt well, seems you know. to be covering what was on the on the ground there so let's see the officers in general will have them come out slowly so so whatever he threw out oh that's the keys he threw out the oh, keys okay. to the vehicle we do not yeah. know if it was a stolen vehicle we don't know what they were uh accused of doing but now you're going to have the process of Following officer's orders, they'll take this person out, he'll back up, and then they'll eventually come forward and clear the vehicle. But they're going to want to see what's yeah, under take his jacket. Take off the big-ass jacket. Take that shit off. Maybe even take the yeah, jacket Yeah, take that off. shit off. You ain't coming away with that shit. But they're going to be surprised he turned around and faced he, officers. He's a little too loose, though. Yeah, what you doing? Back up. They, they, maybe they made him turn towards Sometimes him? Sometimes with the noise out there, maybe it's mm. difficult for him to hear, but... Uh, Officers hmm. are going to make sure that there is no threat to life or some take that shit off. Them. Take your jacket off. Uh, but there's at least one other person in the vehicle, so they'll bring this guy back. He will lay down, and then they will probably have the other person. So again, the impact for traffic is going to be that this is going to take out. This is going to be here for a while. So anybody that is behind this on the eastbound side um, near Moreno Spring, near Moreno Valley, yeah, okay, uh, it course. is going to cause a traffic scenario that you will not want to be a part of for the next um, probably half hour or so because they'll have to clear this they'll have to clear the vehicle um this will be an investigation so they'll bring this guy back they'll probably talk to him about how many people are in the car they want to get as much information as they can but eventually the person in the passenger side will have to get out and go through the same hmm. thing that this guy did and then they'll slowly walk up and try to clear the rest of the vehicle <laughs>
We are um, just just getting some housekeeping here on uh, for you guys on our stream. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the second person is taken into custody and make sure nothing um, crazy happens here, and then we'll return you to our regular stream. No, but, uh, no, we don't want the regular again stream near Moreno Valley. It's nobody watching TV. Sixty. Um, at this has been. Yeah, uh, probably a half hour or so, uh, Chase. Let me see the first thing that we heard on this one, or I heard uh, was about 9.35. So certainly we've had a half hour of this. Um, when we picked it up, the, the suspect had already lost the tire on the passenger side of the vehicle front, front right side. Uh, so now they're going to bring the other person out of this vehicle. Uh, actually, we're now, okay, the locator now is Beaumont. We're being told that this is Beaumont, uh, but we're going to wrap this up on our stream here in just a moment. We want to make sure that this second person comes out of the vehicle now, um, but it is the 60 East, and you will want to avoid that area if you are uh, heading in that direction. So now this person's going to do the exact same thing you saw a moment ago. I can't tell. It does look like that is a female hmm. suspect. Oh. It could be a male. There's somebody else doing the back uh, in the little thing? shadows, and we don't. We didn't say one way or the other. We don't know. We oh, just yeah, somebody else in there. The You're talking so to somebody. Now, we don't know if this was a stolen vehicle. We don't know what caused them to hmm. get started. If we find that out, if it's relevant, we'll bring it to you a little bit later on editions. But of she can barely uh, walk too. News. So it does look as if we have a one male, one female suspect, and it does look as if this person is going to quickly be taken into custody. So we're going to wrap this up, and then we'll take you back to your regular streaming um, schedule. Um, I'm Philip Palmer. Thanks for watching us. It does look like this will end with a further incident. Uh, again, 60 eastbound is going to be gummed up for just a little bit as they clear this process and they've closed this eastbound side. Amazing. Westbound side will likely near Beaumont see some congestion as people watch uh, what is happening here. Powerful winds, the storm also leading to flooding and even land. I'm surprised. Uh, I hear Cali's getting all this rain and stuff. I don't know what part of Cali is getting all the rain, but um, you guys are so dry over there. I thought you'd be like celebrating when it rains and shit. This is what it looks like today. If you're going to be heading out the door, we're going to see our temperatures. They barely, aren't they always dry and all these fires and shit going on? They, they think to be celebrating, doing dances out in the streets to show oh, 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 oh. everybody be celebrating. Oh, thank God. Have all kinds of containers outside of their house on their patio and shit. Like all these plastic containers just collecting the water because it's so dry over there. And a little bit of water that there is out there is all contaminated with bacteria. You can't even swim in their oceans. One of the last times I was out there, they, 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 they had beach warnings about bacteria and shit. So like, I thought they had to collect. And ration the water when it rains and shit out there in Cali. I don't know, bro. We are celebrating. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm kind of playing. I like it over there. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd live there, but I like it over there. Cali. <laughs> no way. I mean, I think you're joking, but that would be funny. He said, Rob Altus says we can't collect rain. It's illegal. I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some shit like that over there. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if one of those, I don't know, those people put into place. That's like something against the rules or whatever. Is that a thing that like as far I thought there was, where was it that uh, they were telling people not to use their AC? Was that Texas? Not, not Texas. Was that Cali? But that was Cali, wasn't it? They were telling people, please don't use your AC. Hmm. So anyway, in a little bit, I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be back like in 30 minutes or so. I'm going to be back. We're going to talk about uh, a little bit more of the Idaho stuff, Nancy Grace. And supposedly there, there's reports now saying that this guy was wearing surgical gloves, right? Koberger. So uh, we'll be back in a little bit for that. I'm going to move you guys over from here to over there. 
So come back like in, I don't know, like 30 minutes or so. I'm going to go get a little sweat, a little sun, take a quick little shower, and then I'll be back with you guys to try to keep the good mood and energy going. Energy, man. Vibes. If there's anything interesting that you've seen with this case, the Idaho stuff sent it to me. Uh, somebody in the chat earlier pointed out a different story. Maybe we can talk about it a little bit towards the end of the next stream. Five children among eight dead in Utah murder suicide after wife sought divorce. Wow. I mean, honestly, that could be a whole stream in itself, but we could still talk about it next stream at the end. I don't know. We'll see. Or I could just do a whole different stream on that. That's a pretty wicked story. A Utah, it's always these weird Western... A Utah man fatally shot his five children, his mother-in-law, and his wife, then killed himself two weeks after the woman had filed for divorce. What is with these guys that can't, like, accept it? I mean, I know it's tough, I, I guess, with the whole family, but, like, damn. I'm killing everybody. You're all coming with me. Maybe it's one of the church things, too. Like, they're so in their beliefs that, like, it's either we're married or we're dead. So death do us part type of shit, you know? Damn. They're saying here that he wouldn't be the type. Who wouldn't be the type? No, oh, North Cali's flooded. A lot of my cousins live out there. Damn. So it's actually really bad rain out there in North Cali. All right. So yeah, on the next stream at the end, once we get through some of the details, there's not much, I don't think today, but we'll talk about the affidavit. We'll go through the Nancy Grace stuff and maybe I'll bring up this Mormon story. And depending on whatever happens, maybe we could even do calls. I don't know. Um, oh, and there's another, somebody that knows Brian Koberger spoke up. So I'll bring that up as well in the next stream. Um, ooh, see, I got another link. Interesting link. Yeah. So send me any links that you think are interesting and we'll hang out in about 30 minutes. All right. And I'll be back. All right. Love you guys. Peace. Hope you're having a great day. Be safe. Be good. Spend time with your family when you can. Because shit's crazy out there. People are dying. I have a lot of friends that have like deceased family members all recently, you know, so just, you know, try to enjoy what you have.